Wow, that was excellent. What's going on guys? Alright, so I just walked out of the latest Marvel movie, The Internals, and let me tell you something. Me for I never I don't know anything about the internals. I never watched any adaptations of them. I've never seen them in the cartoons. I've never seen them in the video games. I've never even read a comic book about them. But let me tell you something, Eternals is such a good movie because uh, I like all the cast. I, I am familiar with some of them. Some of them are from uh, Godzilla vs. Kong, uh, Game of Thrones, of course, and uh, great Angelina Jolie. I like, it's probably one of the best visual, special effects, sound effects, in my opinion, that I've ever seen in a Marvel movie. Oh yeah, well, you can start summoning weapons. They have, they have superpowers that are so cool to me, such as like summoning weapons, swords, shields, and run really, really fast. And let me tell you something, we get teases of a big threat that is coming that could be much, much bigger than, much bigger than Thanos that it was. And I think this is the first time in a while I enjoyed the movie on the big screen with some delicious popcorn and a, a frozen icy here. And not one, not one moment seen in this movie I thought drag for me. I was so in, I was so enjoying this movie from very start to finish. Not one moment thought drag me and I didn't fall I didn't feel like I was gonna fall asleep on not one single moment. And then next up, it looks like a world that I would like to be in. And they, the Eternals, let me tell you something. The Eternals look like they got, they are some very, very cool characters that I can't wait to see as they will indeed return in the next part, next build, the next Avengers movie and, and fight a big threat, made much, much bigger than Thanos. And if you have seen this movie, and you, you probably will, you probably like the Easter eggs and references to other um, superheroes that don't even exist in the Marvel Universe. I mean, you've seen the, um, the Spider-Man Raimi trilogy, you probably know what I mean. They reference Superman. And let me tell you something, there's one character here that's probably going to be Marvel's version of Superman. I don't know. I don't know yet. But he was able to shoot out razor beads. And that was so cool. I love those special effects. He's more like... There's one character that called one of the Eternals, Are you Superman? Like, he doesn't wear a cape. I don't wear a cape. That was kind of good. His laser beams were pretty yellow-like. And this movie does take some time to give us a moment and explain where were the Eternals and why were they not there for to fight off Thanos, maybe fight off the events of, the, of New York and all that other stuff. And that was pretty nice to know. And they do reference, they do mention, uh, like Doctor Strange, and more characters that make you understand that this movie is, it does exist in the same continuity and after after uh, the Avengers defeated Thanos once and for all. Oh, and let me tell you, there are some creepy looking creatures in this movie that have this ability to drain your life. Well, every time that came on screen, I was like, oh no, oh no, not again. Dang. And I love all the sound effects. And it was, they had some really cool action sequences facing with the Eternals facing off those really creepy creatures that look like wolves. So, if you're still a big fan, if you still follow the Marvel Cinematic Universe and you love comic book movies, well, look no further. Eternals is right up your alley. Thank you guys. Thank you all for watching. I'll catch you all in my next video. Oh, one more thing. If I had to grade this movie, if I had to give you my, my my personal scores for these movies, I would give this movie an A for being very impressive. This, I don't know nothing about the internals. I would give this movie an A. I would give this movie, uh, on the entertainment, a, uh, I would give it an 8.5 out of 10. I'll stick with 
I'll stick with that, 8.5 out of 10. And I will start to give this a four and a half stars out of five. My grade may, it may change, because I can't wait to watch it again. I can't wait to own it and buy it. Thank you all for watching. We will see.